So in this session, we're going to talk about precision and accuracy, which are two distinct but related terms. So this lovely table here allows us to draw the four possible combinations of those two concepts. So we've got accuracy on the rows, precision on the columns, and high and low represented as splits of two in each. So what we've got are four little archery target boards. So each of these boards, the red dot in the middle, represents the bullseye. And what we're going to do is represent four different types of archer, each of whom has a different uh, ability at archery. So the one in this top left-hand cell has a low precision and low accuracy uh, style, if you will, of archery. So precision is about the relative grouping of each of the shots. So if you fire a bunch of shots, if they're all nice and clustered together, that means that they are precise, but it doesn't mean that they're close to the bullseye. Whereas accuracy says, let's have a look at all of your uh, shots, and are they, on average, pointing at the target? So if you've got low precision and low accuracy, not only are the points spread out, they also aren't clustered around the target. So they might look something like this. Okay? Not a very good game of arrows. Next up, we'll have a look over here. So let's say, okay, your accuracy is still low, but now your precision has got a bit better. So this type of archer might look a bit like this. So all the arrows are nicely clustered, but they're still not really pointing at all at the target. Next up, high accuracy, low precision. So they are, on average, pointing at the bullseye, but they're spread out. That's not a good clustering. So they're going to look something like this. And lastly, high precision, high accuracy, tight cluster, centered around the target. OK, these are the four distinct groups. And I hope this helps you understand how these two terms are clearly related, but they're not the same thing. What we're going to do next is we're going to collapse this game of this two dimensional game of arrows into a sort of one dimensional game so that we can show you what it would look like as a kind of distribution on a graph. So you're, normal, you're aware of things like the normal distribution. So we're going to draw a graph in each cell that shows where the true mean is, i.e. where the true mean should be, so our target, and we'll call this t, and where the actual mean of all of our arrows. So imagine we shot many, many more arrows, so we can draw a nice continuous distribution, right? This has got not only quite a wide spread, but also the mean is not centered around our target. So it would look something like this. Okay, we'll extend the axis out of it here. Okay, so quite a wide distribution, and the mean, which is over here, oops, is not aligned with our target. Okay, next we'll do the high precision, low accuracy. So try and guess in your head, draw a little picture in your head of what this is going to look like. So the target is here, but our system is over here, so it's going to look a bit like... So it's a tight distribution compared to the last one, but I'm afraid it's not close to the target. So you see the difference between these two? Very narrow distribution, that's the difference. Next, high accuracy, low precision. So now we've got another wide distribution, but this time the target and the mean are aligned. So you get something a bit like this. Okay, and finally, the last graph is going to be where not only are the mean and the target aligned, but also you've got a very tight grouping of shots. So your distribution is going to look something like this, with your mean and your target on the same spot. Okay, so these four examples, again, hopefully just reinforce this concept. So you're going to come across, uh, over the course of the next three years of your degree, lots of examples where you're given data, and you're going to have to be able to distinguish between high accuracy and high precision reporting of results. And I hope that's made it clearer. Okay.